सो हेलो एवरी वन दिस इज द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ डॉक्टर अमित्स बायो केमिस्ट्री हेयर अनंतिता हेयर एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट वीडियो यू आर एबल टू सी मी सो आई एम अ पी एच डी स्कॉलर एंड दिस इज द इम्यूनोलॉजी लेक्चर सीरीज विच इज ऑल गोइंग ऑन सो दिस वीडियो इज अबाउट ऑटो इम्यूनिटी सो वेलकम एवरी वन लेट इज प्रोसीड विद द टॉपिक जस्ट डू मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव सीन द वीडियोज अवेलेबल ऑन द सेम चैनल as a playlist of immunology so it would give a kind of a clear cut concept about all these things so today we are going to study about autoimmunity so the very first thing i would say is these whole things whatever is there present in the presentation all around this is given by one of my professor and this is not my notes actually uh, this is notes of my professor he is a researcher in autoimmunity since 20 years and he has been working in chicago so i do strongly believe that after studying this much notes it's sufficient to ace any of the examination so let us see what's going to happen uh, what is there so what is autoimmunity so a very clear cut kind of a, a definition is there you just see this is autoimmunity is the failure of organism in recognizing its own constituent parts right which allows the immune response against own cells and tissues okay so see this is something uh, uh, a kind of uh, confusion which is created in the immune uh, system which does not allow the immune cells to act against pathogen but it is acting against the own cells examples include uh, celiac disease diabetes mellitus uh, we have hashimotos thyroiditis graves disease uh, rheumatoid arthritis edition disease etc etc now going through this paragraph i would say the misconception that individual of immune system is totally capable of recognizing self antigen is not a kind of new thing in the 20th century only there was a scientist paul elrich uh, you will be uh, knowing about this person because in the very first chapter of kubi uh, it's written about him so he is a, a pioneer of the field of immunology so he has given the concept of horror autotoxicus right what happens in this is normal body does not mount the immune response against its own tissues right but when the case is of autoimmunity means our own uh, cells uh, immune cells is just going to act against our own uh, organ cells right so here we will see that in case of vertebrates not about humans only we are talking about all of the vertebrate this autoimmune response is somewhat natural but normally when the phenomenon become very high means the self tolerance is totally decreased and thus autoimmunity is increased means autoimmunity is inversely proportional to the self tolerance okay let's see the next thing so here one of the function of immune system is to protect the body and uh, responding to invading microorganism like bacteria as viruses uh, and produce antibodies we know this in the very first lecture i have told about this but what happened is sometime it is triggered against our own body in certain cases like uh, uh, cells make mistake and attack the very uh, cell and are meant to whom they are meant to protect okay so this lead to autoimmune diseases so it is related uh, category is related and person system attacks his or own his or her own tissue now see we have two types uh, low level autoimmunity and we have so here we see about immunodeficiency and autoimmunity just to see that there are large number of immunodeficiency syndrome uh, that are present in the clinic uh, as a clinical and laboratory characteristic it is it it shows some of the similarities but there is a clear cut difference between autoimmunity and uh, your immunodeficiency so we go through these things but the patients may be responsible for causing autoimmunity through perpetual immune system activation it is written that 
immunodeficiency is just the ability in which immune system is not able to differentiate between uh, the foreign invaders which is coming and it has got the ability which is uh, it it just got less in the ability it has lost the ability of clearing the foreign invaders but in case of autoimmunity it is just uh, that we are uh, this immune system is not able to recognize between the self and non self okay so you see one example is uh, related example is about uh, CVID that is common variable immunodeficiency right where multiple autoimmune diseases are seen see this is a very potent uh, mcq so there could be uh, what are the condition that develops in CVID so we have immune uh, inflammatory bowel disease autoimmune thrombocytopenia uh, autoimmune thyroid disease like other examples are also there xlas are there uh, you have chronic granulomatous disease right you see here uh, this chronic uh, gr granulomatous disease is caused by decreased production of nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide phosphate oxidase by uh, this neutrophils so this could also be a, an mcq now you see uh, we have hypomorphic rag rag is uh, this uh, mutation gene which is present in the patient with midline granulomatous diseases and autoimmune disease condition in which is commonly seen in presence patients of granulomatous and polyangiitis that is also known as wegner's disease wegner's disease right we have finally iga immunoglobulin a deficiency this is also sometimes associated with the development of autoimmune and atopic phenomenon okay here is the classification of autoimmunity we see there are two two classification one is the systemic autoimmune diseases and another is the local syndromes which affects the specific organ or tissues like in systemic that is a uh, sles is there uh, sclerom scleroderma we have rheumatoid arthritis dermatomyositis etc etc so this is not a tissue specific okay here antigens are not tissue specific but when it come to local syndromes uh, which affect the specific organ or tissues we have endocrinologic diseases like diabetic mellitus type 1 hashimotos thyroiditis addition diseases then gastrointestinal uh, we have celiac disease uh, and other diseases then dermatologic we have uh, uh, vitiligo and other diseases so vitiligo is also an autoimmune disease that patches that develops okay hematologic we have autoimmune hemo hemolytic anemia idiopathic thrombocytopenia etc we have neurological like mesthenia gravis apart from this just uh, see this figure this differentiate between normal cells and autoimmune condition autoimmune condition and normal condition in the normal condition see stomach cells are there so this is a uh, pre dendritic cells pre dendritic cell is there what happening here is uh, it is expressing the self antigen but this is recognized by the immune cells and the cell is not going to be harmed but in autoimmune condition what is happening this self antigen is not recognized and the cells are killing this thing so this is the uh, depiction or we can say picture that depicts the autoimmune condition and normal condition now apart from this this was the first part there are certain parts uh, about this autoimmunity so thank you for your patient listening we will be including a lot about autoimmunity part by part in uh, which will be included in this playlist only so thank you so much and have a good day